Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 2 to power t. This is equal to t to power 32. So what is the value of t? Solution here, we have 2 to power t. This is equal to t to power 32. So let's put the variable t on one side and the constant terms on the other side. To do that, we multiply, first we multiply by 1 over t. On both sides, multiplying by 1 over t. Now, let's simplify here. So, this is 2 is equal to, now here we have t to power, that's 2, raised to power 1 over t. Now, following the indices identity, that a to power n, raised to power m, this can be expressed as a to power m, raised to power n. Let's apply this identity so that here we have 2. This is equal to t to power 1 over t. This is raised to power that 2. Let's multiply both sides by 1 over that 2 here. And here 1 over 32. So that 2 and that 2 simplifies here. So this is the same thing as t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 1 over 32. The first thing here, we can express 1 over 32 as 2 over 64. 2 over 64 is the same thing as 1 over 32. So here we have t raised to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 2 over 64. And given that a to power n multiplied by m, this can be expressed as a to power n raised to power m. So in this case, we'll have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 2 to power 2 multiplied by 1 over 64. So 2 to power 2 here. t raised to power 1 over t. This is 2 squared, which is 4 to power 1 over 64. You can see here, the base is equal to the exponent here. We have 4, which is not equal to 64. So let's proceed. Now here we have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 4 to power 1 over 64. 1 over 64, this can be expressed as 2 over 128. So substituting this, we'll have t to power 1 over t. This is equal to 4 to power 2 over 120. Eight. So this can also be expressed as 4 to power 2 raised to power 1 over 128. So 4 squared here, this is equal to 16 raised to power 1 over 128. So 120, 1 over 128, this can also be expressed as 2 divided by 256. So let's substitute this. We'll have 16 raised to power 2 over 256. So here, we can express this as 16 to power 2, multiplying by 1 over 256. So the next step here, we have 16 squared. This is 256 raised to power 1 over 256. And this is t to power 1 over t. Here, you can see that t is equal to the exponent t here. We have 256, which is equal to exponent 256. Now, from here, this implies that t is equal to 256. Now, this is the value of t. The next step here, let's verify. Let's verify that this value of t actually satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall here, if you recall here, we hand that 2 to power t. This is equal to t to power 32. Let's substitute the value of t here. So we'll have t to power 256. This is equal to 256 raised to power 32. Now, the next step here, we have 
2 to the power 256, this is equal to, we can express 256 as 2 to the power 8. Substituting 2 to the power 8 here, we'll have 2 to the power 8 multiplied by 32. In this case here, we'll have 2 to the power 256. This is equal to 2 to the power. Now, this is 32 multiplied by 8. 8 times 2, this is 16. Carry on. 8 times 3, this is 24 plus 1. This is 256. So here we have 2 to the power 256. Therefore, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And that affirms that the value of t, which is 256, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, like this video, and subscribe.